I'm walking down this path here, way out in the middle of nowhere, in the Bolinas Mesa, and I run across this abandoned building here. So, um, take a look. It's, it's interesting, they have hay here. And look at the mural on the wall. And they got some pipes here. And that's a pretty uh, cool mural, whatever it is. But at one time it had power. I mean, you see that red stuff. Poison oak. Poison oak is everywhere. Let's see what the other side looks like. More graffiti. <clears throat> so this is like in the middle of nowhere. It's some kind of power station. You know what this case place could have been? Is like a old abandoned um, powerhouse that someone could have used for like a grow marijuana grow house, but I doubt that's what it is because it looks like something the city put together. But you never know what you're gonna find when you get out there in the world I don't understand the fresh hay though at all you see these plastic pipes going down those are pretty new they're not steel and this concrete slab I'm on who knows what was here at one time it looks like it was probably connected to some kind of water pump I'm not sure why that tanks at an angle. Anyway, if anybody you know, anybody watching this video, know what the hell this thing is, let me know, because I'm curious. I don't want to walk where the poison oak is, so be Whoa, giant spider web. I don't want a giant spider in my hair. Oh, and there it is, look. <laughs> I'm freaking out now. Is that a spider or a leaf? God, I just walked into a creepy spider web. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not real fond of spiders. They don't terrify me, but that was a pretty big web. Wouldn't want it to be crawling on me. Then you might hear me scream. Alright, let's not go that way. go back the way I came and keep my eye out for spider webs. You gotta watch what you grab. You grab that. You got poison oak. It's everywhere around here. I do like the mural though, pretty cool. Hey, welcome back everyone. I am now on the Bolinas Mesa at a dead end road from the town of Bolinas in the wilderness area. And I'm gonna go discover a beach I've never been to called the Palo Marin Beach. And I noticed the sign here it says trail closed dangerous conditions 
I'm gonna still go check it out and um, if I get down there I'll do a film and then um, go from there look at this sticker Mary in my lungs look at this um, tree here eucalyptus pretty big eucalyptus tree and pretty old the circumference of that thing is huge it's like one of those old redwood trees and I rode my motorcycle out here today and I just have these uh, motorcycle boots so if the trail is too crazy I'm definitely not going to be uh, going down it's definitely a nice view from up here pretty good height to get down there Well, let's walk a little further, see what else we can see what, what dangerous means. It's certainly beautiful out here, and the weather is like perfect. It's like 75 degrees. Really nice temperature. So far, the trail is nice and easy. But because of the sign that said closed, there's no one on the trail. So you want to watch out for things like mountain lions, rattlesnakes. Look at this uh, color of this um, uh, poison oak. Look how red that is. And poison oak is all over the place up here. Now I'm just on a single lane trail, getting down to the sea level. It's certainly uh, beautiful out here. walk through this gauntlet of dead weeds. You can just see, um, you know, we're in a drought right now, a big one. And this is right by the ocean. And look how dry it is. There's like nothing. All the plants are dying. So far, I don't see any danger in this trail whatsoever. So I have a feeling when I get down to the cliff's edge, it's gonna be another story. Look at this uh, wild nasturgeon. A lot of people plant those in their gardens. And this one's just growing wild. Well, I thought I'd give you an update. I've been hiking probably about, hmm, total, a mile maybe. And I hear the water Still doesn't mean that I can get down to this beach, especially if it's going down a cliff. So it wasn't too bad of a hike at all, even in motorcycle boots. So here's the dangerous part, I assume. Let's see if I can get a better view, better angle, what I got to deal with here. Huh. It looks a little sketchy. Big old lizard up there, you see that? Right? 
So I'm going to hold on to this plant for some support. So the question is, how sketchy is it? Looks like I could go right here or actually up. Okay, so it's got ropes that are tied up here and you literally have to hold on to the ropes to get down there. There's another guy over there that looks like he hiked. Huh, windy. So, I'm not sure about going down there. My instincts are telling me don't do it in motorcycle boots. In my younger days, I would have not even thought twice. But this is certainly a beautiful view up here. So, around that bend over there is Agate Beach. And I actually did a video of that. And then it goes around and the town of Bolinas is on the other side. And then Stinson Beach. I don't see anything down there because the tide's so high. Um, to be honest, really worth going down there for. Because the tide, I think, peaks at an hour, so it's coming in. And it does look like it has really good tide pools, though, at low tide, over all this stuff over here. I don't know. What do you think? Should I go for it? The rope? There is a rope to hold you. Maybe I'll try and see how slippery it is. I'm just thinking about the way up. Alright, you're going to find out in my next part of the video if I did it or not. There's a guy down here. He's going up, so... Well my decision was not to do it um, and my thought process was even though that guy I just filmed came up the rope I don't have hiking boots on he had gloves on his hand to grab the rope there's no, no cell phone coverage out here and if I happen to slip or twist an ankle or fall um, I'd be screwed way out here in the middle of nowhere so I, I I decided to do the right thing and not go down it. And I'm just having a snack here. I got beef jerky and stuff's pretty good. And some organic apple clusters. And this, this is really good. Brad's crunchy kale. Bunch of health food. I'm trying to eat a lot healthier these days. So I can lose some weight. So I'm just sitting here enjoying the view. And let me show you the view I'm looking at. Look at that view, huh? And then when I'm done, I'm gonna hike back up. I'll film a little on the way, and that'll probably be it. Look at this seagull here flying by. There's another reason I didn't gonna go down there is the tide's coming in, it's not going out. So, um, there's not a lot to see down there when the tide's coming in. Alright, we're going back. Plan my path here in this loose gravel.
It's crazy. When I was younger, man, this would have been no problem for me. We used to, we used to do something called, uh, we called it dirt skiing, like snow skiing. We'd find a, a hill like this and we'd jump down like skiers do, like boom, 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 down as steep as hill as we could find. But those days are over. <laughs> I'm not uh, 15 anymore. More of that lovely poison oak. Just look at the color of that thing. You guys don't know what poison oak is? That's what you want to stay away from right there. Make you itch and itch and itch for a long time. There's a little green area here, a little valley, I guess, catches any moisture. You got super dry and then green. There's a lizard on the path, see him running. And this part's nice. Another lizard. Lots of lizards. It's nice and green here. Which is very unusual in the Bay Area right now. Everywhere you drive, everything's brown. And it's late August, which is expected it to be brown but not this brown those ferns are nice some wild ferns there I like those I always like ferns look at these wild California poppies just in the middle of nowhere Somehow they get enough moisture to still bloom. Now this is interesting. You would think this is a jungle right here. So this must be where the valley comes to a point. And yep. I bet this is where a lot of wildlife come at night to get some water. Oasis in the middle of a drop. Those are nice little wild purple flowers. Here we're going through the gauntlet of dry weeds again. This time going back up. You know, I just walked by some scat there on the ground and whatever pooped that out is a big animal and it's pretty recent so they might who knows mountain lion could be over there who knows it's pretty isolated out here I made it back to the main path to the eucalyptus grove and there's huge eucalyptus everywhere. You can smell it. I 
And look at the size of that one. Mammoth. This is nice. Some water canyon and all the eucalyptus there. It's like a postcard. Well, that was fun. Walking down to the cliff and looking out of the ocean and looking down at the beach that I didn't want to climb down to. <laughs> so thanks for coming on my journey and my little hike today out here on the Bolinas Mesa uh, at the um, Pablo Marin Trailhead. And I've never been on that walk. I've lived here. There's so many things in the Bay Area that I've never seen. Uh, that was nice. I got a little sweat going. That was kind of tough coming back. Uh, but thanks for coming on my journey today, and I'll see you next time. Okay.